Hey folks, Connor from Nice Wheels here. Really excited to review today the GoCycle G3, the most high-tech electric bike on the market. So in this video, we'll go through all of the nice high-tech features on this bike. We'll talk a little bit about the app, and most importantly, we'll talk about how it rides. So the first thing we want to touch on in this review is just how amazing the design is for this entire bike. You can see how all of the cables, uh, as far as the braking and shifting, everything is enclosed. There's no exposed wires or anything like that. Super clean design. You got a whole chain covered here so that you're not going to get any grease on you. And this is a magnesium frame, so it's going to have very similar characteristics to a carbon frame, uh, being that it's going to be very light as well as stiff. So moving on to the drivetrain. Uh, Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot to look at because everything is concealed right in here, but they have what's called the GoCycle Clean Drive. That's going to be their three-speed proprietary internal hub. And it's not really like any other hub because it's not in the same location. It's kind of on the side over here, but it's uh, electronic uh, shifting. So you're just going to have a twist of the knob on the handlebars to uh, change between your three gears here. What's also cool about the bike is that when you stop, you have an auto downshift. So when you get to a light, uh, it'll just shift you into your first gear automatically so that you can continue to build up your cadence. But as far as the rest of the drivetrain goes, it's still a normal bicycle chain in there. Uh, so not too difficult to service. Everything is just enclosed in here. Moving on up towards the front of the bike, uh, what you have over here is, well, it may not be too obvious to tell, but there is a motor in here. It's really small and compact, but uh, still provides a lot of power. It's a 250 watt nominal rating with a peak of 500. And this motor will be able to get you to speeds up to 25 miles an hour at the most. Uh, that is if you tune that to the setting on your application, uh, which we'll go into a little bit later. Moving on to the GoCycle wheels, they're incredibly easy to pop off the bike and both the front and the back are exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up when you're taking the bike apart. Uh, but going on to the design of them real quick, you have a nice five-spoke magnesium rim on here. So it's gonna come completely in true and always stay in true. And then you also have some nice thick, uh, slick tires on here. Uh, these are the GoCycle branded tire, uh, but you can also fit a variety of other tires like Schwalbe Big Apple. So since the wheels are so easy to pop off, we'll uh, get right inside this disc brake mechanism that they have. It's all custom built and you have a nice cover around the disc rotor itself. So when you do take the bike apart and fold it, uh, you know, you're not gonna bend those discs. They're gonna be protected from any damage. So a really great design point that uh, GoCycle really focused on here. So moving on up to the handlebar and the stem, uh, you'll have generally a pretty upright and comfortable riding position with this bike, but you can make some minor adjustments. This uh, point here is just a cover uh, and you are able to uh, raise and lower that to your liking. The brake levers on the Go Cycle are really smooth and responsive. Doesn't take a whole lot of effort to get your stopping power. And these are hydraulic disc brakes, again, with the cables all completely concealed within the bike. And lastly, the controls on the Go Cycle are incredibly smooth and kind of hidden. You really just have two twist points here uh, on the handlebar grips themselves. And the one on the left will actually activate your daytime running light, which you have a couple different settings. You have uh, this one in bright mode, and you can also have this one uh, just kind of as a lower beam setting. If you don't exactly need it to see, uh, this is a great one just to be seen. So taking a closer look at the controls, uh, all you have really is just a series of dots here that's gonna tell you pretty much everything you need to know. So on the left-hand side is gonna be your battery level. So uh, once these dots get closer to the left grip, uh, that's gonna be when your battery is lowest. Right in the middle, you'll have three dots that'll indicate which gear you're on. So you have first, second, and third gear, and when you stop or you know come at a red light, it'll auto shift back down to the first gear so that you can build up your cadence again. Then what you're gonna have on the left side uh, when you're actually riding the bike is a power meter. So that will tell you how hard the motor is working. Uh, so if you need to you know, be in a more economic setting or you need to save some battery, uh, it'll give you an idea of how hard the bike is working so you can have a better estimate of how much range you're gonna get out of it. Then coming over to the left side control here, this twist grip is gonna be able to control your front light. So if you push that forward a little bit and hold it there, you'll see a blue light come on and that'll activate your lower light setting. You can twist it up one more time and that's gonna be your brighter setting. But it also has a double function of being a throttle as well. Uh, with the Go Cycle app, you can program this bike to uh, give you power on demand or be a class two electric bike, or you can just have it to set on pedal assist, but the choice is yours. 
So we've got the GoCycle app opened up here, and uh, this is available in your uh, Apple App Store as well as Google Play for Android. So what you'll get here is just a, a couple of readouts and information just to give you stats on your ride. So it will tell you a more precise battery percentage. You'll have your average speed, calories burned, uh, trip distance miles, odometer miles, and your average power watts. So what's cool about this app is that it'll actually measure what power you're putting into the pedals versus what power uh, the bike is actually outputting for you. And then it'll give you a kind of a, a quirky rating over here for the equivalent miles per gallon. So just kind of a rating of uh, basically how green you are. Next, we'll move on to really the main point of the app, which is going to be to select what mode you want the bike to be in. So GoCycle has made up a couple of preset modes uh, to give you, but you can also customize uh, to make the ride basically however you want it to be. You have an eco mode that's going to you know, give you optimal battery conservation. You have a power on demand mode as well, uh, so you can just make the bike be a class two and have full throttle. And you have a city mode that's gonna, you know, give you average power uh, while still being pretty efficient. But in my opinion, the only mode that uh, I really ever want to use on this bike is gonna be the custom mode, because uh, it really tunes the ride to exactly how you want it to be. So this chart actually lets you choose the wattage level that you want to set to have your motor start, and then the wattage level that you want to set to have your motor at full power. So this you can control by dragging these two settings and it'll give you the exact watt number as you kind of scroll your finger across. So you can customize and tune this to however you want. You also have a couple more settings if you click this little red logo down here. And this can set your top speed. So unlike a lot of bikes, you can actually set this to go a little faster than 20 miles an hour. Uh, so you can get that up to 25 at top speed. And you can even toggle whether or, want, or not you want your pedal required for motor assistance. Then here you have a couple of settings. Uh, you can name your bike, you can choose your unit of measurement for uh, miles or kilometers. Uh, then you can reset your trip distance and calories burned. All of these stats basically you can reset and edit to your liking. And finally, let's just touch on the uh, back end of the bike here. Right here is going to be your power button, which will also give you a, a small battery gauge with these four dots here. Uh, you can see when you touch it there, it'll just give you an average rating of how much battery you have. And right under that is going to be where you charge the bike. So the battery pretty much always remains inside the bike, so you do have to bring it close to an outlet when you're giving it a charge. So going into the ride of the Go Cycle, uh, it rides incredibly smooth and feels a lot like a full-size bike. And the main reason for that is because the wheelbase of the Go Cycle is the same as a full-size bike. You have that same axle-to-axle -axle spacing, which is going to give you a lot of control over this bike, even though it has 20-inch wheels. The pedal assist mechanism on this bike is going to measure your torque and cadence up at the cranks and it's going to be pretty responsive as far as giving that uh, power to the motor based on when you start pedaling. Although the pedal assist feature on this bike is really smooth and responsive, I had a ton of fun using the throttle on this bike and the motor was surprisingly powerful for being a 250 watt. I'm a fairly heavy guy and it was able to take me up a hill with no pedal assist at all and take me up it pretty fast. Although the pedal assist feature on this bike feels really good to ride on, I had a ton of fun using the throttle and the, uh, the power on demand setting. I also had a blast kicking up the speed limit to 25 miles an hour on this bike, which is great to get to your destinations a lot faster, but it will kill your battery a lot quicker. Although the motor and battery specs, when you look at the numbers, may not seem too impressive, but overall it's a really efficient system that's going to be great for long distance rides or just cruising short distances around your city. And finally, you really just have to admire the design of this bike. It's a one size fits most kind of frame. The C-tube is angled to a point that the higher you raise it, the more reach you'll get. Uh, so it's gonna be more accessible for both short and tall people. Final thoughts on the Go Cycle G3 is that it's really got an amazing design to it. It's clean, it's simple, it's easy to use, and it's kind of the jack of all trades when it comes to e-bikes. It's an extremely lightweight bike, easy to disassemble, you can stow it away, use it for travel, and it also offers really great performance. Thanks so much for watching our review of the Go Cycle G3. If you want to learn how to fold the Go Cycle and disassemble it, you can click the video below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, as well as turn on your notifications to let you know when we release new e-bike content.